Okay, I'm here at the bathtub again to uh, give my uh, tablespoon spoons the first swim test. All right, this is a bigger pike spoon. Works fine. This is why I decreased the uh, cupping of the uh, original tablespoons. Because if you would not do it, even on a slower retrieve, the spoon would uh, turn on its back and only flutter. So this one wiggles really nicely as it's supposed to be. Um, works fine. The second bigger pike spoon. It's a bit uh, of a thinner material, so it tends to rise to the surface faster. I would only be able to use it in shallow waters of a few feet depth. But it's fine. Not that easy to test lures in a short bathtub, but uh, what can I do? All covered with ice outside. Alright. Here's one of the smaller teaspoon made uh, lures. Also flutters very nice. Nice wiggle. Alright. Don't think I'll test them all on video. Might be boring to the viewer. They're actually all made the same way, so they should be similar in action more or less. I've got more than 15 years experience in making spoons, so nothing should go wrong with such proven proven models. Alright. Here's one elongated spoon for uh, current fishing. It's pretty heavy. That's why it doesn't flutter that nicely. But for current waters it should be okay. Because the uh, current in the river would act, act to uh, the movement of the spoon. It's a bit heavy, but uh, Making spoons out of uh, tablespoons, you cannot really choose the material. You have to take what you get. I buy these for very little money on flea markets. Something like 20 or 25 euro cents per soup spoon. So then you uh, get two lures out of each. Pretty cheap way to make spoons if you got the right uh, tools for it. That's necessary. Industrial grade tools. All right, here's another slender spoon, not quite as heavy as the first one. So uh, this one actually moves better because it's lighter in weight. The uh, material is a bit thinner. I most likely use such spoons uh, to jig along the bottom. I don't fish river currents that much. They work fine. Alright, okay, gonna show one more of the small teaspoon lures, then it's enough. These, well, they work very nice. Sure, I'm gonna catch some pike and perch on them, as uh, from May when the local closing time for predators is over. Can't actually wait to cast them outdoors. Alright, that was it for today. Thanks for watching.